Hello, and welcome to Wikipedia. It has been just over three months since the infamous Sheraton move in February shook Malaysia's political landscape, leading to a change in the federal government. Fast forward to today, four out of the 13 states in Malaysia have also changed hands, namely Johor, Malacca, Perak, and Kedah, while the remaining nine states have not seen a change of government. Eight of them have seen an increase in opposition-held seats. Only Sarawak, which was originally under Barisan National, retained its status quo. In just four months, there have been so many changes and shifts that many Malaysians have been unable to keep up with developments. And that is why in this episode of Wikipedia, we are going to give you a quick review of who has control of which state and how they have shifted over the last four months. Saya ingin buat cara suka hati demi narayat saja. This is a criminal intimidation. Abi! Bergana! Abi! Bergana! Abi! Yang menang menjadi pembangkang dan yang kalah jadi kerajaan. While most people saw the change of federal government from Pakatan Harapan to Perikatan National as the first domino in the chain of government changes throughout the nation, the first change of power actually took place in Johor, when the Sultan announced that Perikatan National had a simple majority in the state assembly, triggering a change of the state government. Although it seemed confusing at first, a few days later the clouds began to clear. Eleven Bersatu party members had upset the balance, while PKR's Chong Fat Ful had broken away from his party to become an independent. The distribution of seats in the State Legislative Assembly was shifted when the 39 out of 57 seats held by Pakatan Harapan was knocked down to a mere 27 seats. Barisan National and PAS, which previously held 16 and 1 seat respectively, had joined forces with a handful of rogue PKR members to form Perikatan National. Together, they held 29 seats, forming a majority of just one. In the state exco, Bersatu's Sharuddin Jamal was replaced by Hasni Mohammed from AMNO. The Speaker of the State Assembly, Sohai Zankayat of Amana, was maintained as on the 14th of May when the State Assembly convened for the first time following the shift in federal power. The Assembly decided to heed the advice of the Sultan and not bring a quote political virus into the House. Just a few days after the shift in Johor, neighboring Malacca experienced a coup that was far from graceful. DAP's Hulk, Norizam Hassan Bakti, and PKR's Jaliani Kamis announced their departure from Pakatan Harapan and threw their support behind Perikatan National. PM then had a total of 17 seats against a remaining 11 seats. Before the change, AMNO only had 13 seats, while Pakatan Harapan held 15 seats. Subsequently, the Chief Minister and Speaker of the House were replaced. Amanas Adli Zahari was replaced by Sulaiman Muhammad Ali of AMNO as the Chief Minister. As for how the Speaker got replaced, I think you know about what happened on the morning of May 11th during the first sitting of the Malacca Assembly when... After that shouting match, the then Speaker of the House, Omar Jafar from PKR, threw out a motion to have the Speaker replaced and called for the sitting to be suspended when the temperature got a little too high. During the break, the Perikatan National Assembly persons reconvened the sitting with their own interim Speaker and passed a motion to elect Amno's Abdul Rauf Yusof as the new State Speaker. On the 9th of March, Perak also saw a shakeup that brought back flashbacks of a certain 2009 incident. Pakatan Harapan lost seven state assembly persons who left to form an alliance with rogue PKR member Abdul Yunus Jamri and independent MP Noli Ashilin Muhammad Razi. Former DAP members Paul Yong and A. Siva Subramaniam quit their party and became independents. After the shift, the majority in the House was held by Perikatan National and Independent Aduns who had thrown their support behind PN, resulting in a combined 35-seat bloc, leaving Pakatan Harapan with just 24 seats. The Menteri Besar, however, was not changed as Bersatu's Faisal Azumu is still in charge. However, his loyalty has shifted from Pakatan Harapan to Perikatan National. 
On the 12th of May, Perak held their first sitting since the change of federal power. With little resistance, the Speaker Nge Kuham from DAP gracefully resigned as he did not commend the support of the majority of the House, paving the way for Amnos Muhammad Zahir Abdul Khalid's appointment as the new State Speaker. After the Sheraton move, the Kedah Pakatan Harapan government with six Bersatu MPs held on for less than two months before it was their turn to fall. On May the 12th, the then PKR members Robert Ling Kui Yi and Azman Nasruddin quit their party and supported Perikatan Nasional. Then among Bersatu's members in the State Assembly, four out of six of them sided with Perikatan Nasional. Fridaus Ahmad, Halimaton Saadia Saad, Ku Abdul Rahman Ku Ismail, and Juhari Bulat. This knocked Pakatan Harapan's share of the state government down to just 13 out of the 36-seat assembly, down from their original 19. With Perikatan National controlling a total of 23 seats, Mukris Mahadev announced his resignation as Menteri Basar on the 17th of May. Immediately after that, Perikatan National announced that Pasas Mohamed Sanusi will be taking over as the state Menteri Basar. When the state cabinet list came out on the 20th of May, it was revealed that Sanusi was holding seven portfolios on his own while five out of the six former Pakatan Harapan members were given positions in the state executive council. When we take a look at the four state government changes, we can see that Pakatan Harapan took a major blow and lost 29 state seats in total. 12 in Johor, 4 in Malacca, 7 in Perak, and 6 in Kedah. Aside from the ambiguous situation of Perak Bersatu, Bersatu, or PPBM as we know it, in Perikatan National lost three Menteri Besar positions. Has the dust settled? Is this finally the end of the domino chain that tumbled as a result of the Sheraton move? Or are there remaining state governments in Malaysia who are also walking on thin ice right now? Well, that's what we'll be addressing in the next episode of Wikipedia. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching.